What is up guys and welcome to the 94 race to go card Lionel Messi Palais review. Now as we look at this card, you can see how fantastic it looks straight from the back. He's got a massive massive upgrade and I'm actually really impressed with the upgrade he's got and he deserves it. Fine well he does deserve it, you know. The pace downgrade by one mm, was it deserved, maybe not. The shoot in 92 is what he deserves. 92 passing as he's finally got his four passing upgrade, which he truly does deserve. And he's 96 dribbling with 66 physical. Now you're probably wondering, Edie bro, you've only played three games. Well no, I've played like seven. I played some friendlies because I could not win in division rivals in division three with just trying to abuse Messi. I just couldn't seem to win. I was conceding the stupid goals. So I was like, I'll play some friendlies instead. Um we got his in-game stats. I put a hot chemistry stone on them to boost some of the stats and just look at them. <laughs> 99 finishing, 99 attack position, and 84, no, 88 percent read, 95 acceleration, 96 volleys, 94 shot power. I mean, wow! Look at the card. It makes his strength go a little bit higher, 72. Which I'm gonna get into his strength in a minute. And his jumping's okay. All right. Now this card is fantastic. It, it, it is straight off the bat fantastic, right? I'm using him in an okay team. Some of you guys may think it's a sick team. I, I won't quickly say right, this guy sucks. Don't buy, don't buy Hamas Rodriguez. His stats are actually alright. I mean his pace is bad, but the rest of it's, it looks alright for the rest of it. Just don't buy him. He's terrible. He's literally like a like a bin. He just doesn't move. Alright. Well, bin without wheels. But yeah, Nessie, right? I found a few things with this card. I'm getting to the clips and show you as an example of what I did and what I didn't actually like about the card. There's a few things I didn't actually like about which which kind of surprised me a little bit. I got them really cheap, by the way. Obviously, say, it says it's 950k on uh, Xbox and 1 million PS4. Here's that. I got him a bid. And for some reason, I won him. I, I don't know why. I was like, what? That is just mad. So, yeah, I'm going to get into that. And let's roll the clips. Now, as you'll see with Messi, he is just, he's got this air about him, where he's in the right place at the right time. He can just run through players like it's nothing. It's not quite like using him in real life, but he's still, he's still got an air like Messi has. Like, you know, Messi's got his own style to his play, and that's exactly what he can do in this game. He can just run through players like they're nothing. But at times of notice, he does get caught up. But look at this, right? Running through the team, no one can get anywhere near him, and bang, look at that for the finish. Easy as you like. But in some situations, when he goes past certain people, he can't do it. Like, he gets out strength. I've noticed he gets pushed off the ball maybe a bit too easy. That's his main main problem. He, he, he's not very strong. And obviously, he got the stamina problem. So, I mean, stamina mixed with the lack of strength isn't exactly the best thing in the world. But I think if you've got this kind of team where it can complement how good he is, like, if you've got a team with Neymar or, like, a Ronaldo, or you've got a team to match how good Messi actually is, I think he can be a straight 10 out of 10 player. He fits the meta of this game perfectly. All he needs is a couple of informs to get stamina up. Maybe it's, his team of the year is going to be absolutely fantastic. I, I guarantee you he's going to be absolutely fantastic. Now, he is just going to be fantastic, like, straight up. He is already good enough as it is. In foot champions, this guy is going to be do wonders for you. I mean, look at him. No one gets anywhere near him. No one gets anywhere near him. Bang. Easy to like. And this guy rage quit the game, which I thought was pretty funny. Because Messi is that good. I mean, he is that good. Now, I'm going to be selling him because I think it's too much to pay for what he does. I think Lucas Moura or someone can do just as good a job as him, to be honest. So, I think for the price, I gave him a 4 out of 10. I'm not going to lie. Like, I think 700k is more fitting for him. I mean, Lucas Moura literally does the same job as him. Obviously, Lucas Moura isn't as good. But he does the same job. So, I mean, is he really worth it? I don't know. Lucas Moura, Aguero, Son. Mm, I say Messi out of 10 for about 9.6. He's a luxury player. You, you, you don't pay all your coins to get him, sort of thing. There's players that can do the exact same job as in, and get the same goals and all that. It's just Messi's just better at certain things. In certain areas, he'll score more goals. But overall, I give Messi a 9.7 out of 10. Yeah, I said that's fair enough. And I might bring a Lucas Moore review out, I'm not sure, I'm thinking about it, so yeah, that's the gym of the week guys, and yeah, peace.